Alcohol is a complex social substance. It has many ramifications and many dimensions. People have been debating the management of the sale and the distribution of booze and where it could be drunk for decades. In the last 25 years, there's been maybe three or four political leaders in Ontario running for government who say, when I get in, I'm changing the laws. And then when they get there, they don't. As great as the LCBO is, you have four people in the province buying wine for 15 million people. What's changed in Ontario is we now have over 300 uh, VQA wineries and craft uh, breweries in the province now, each making 10, 20, 30 different products. And uh, the shelves of the LCBO just aren't big enough uh, to accommodate all of those products. Bars want to stock our, our product, especially in the city of Toronto, but um, it's just, it's a huge headache for them. The LCBO is government run and runs a profit that is in sort of return to the people. Beer store, it just goes to them. I'm always surprised that the number of people don't realize the beer store isn't run by the province. When you go to the beer store, it's not a very pleasurable experience, especially for someone who enjoys beer. So here I've got my competitors who are controlling my distribution. On top of them being foreign owned, and on top of them being given the right by the provincial government to do this. <laughs> it's, it's absurd. I mean, it would be illegal in most countries. Right? Chinese state television came and interviewed me last year about how crazy our laws were. 